Sean Dittman, president of PLC Multipoint, and I'm going to be talking about our PLC Transportation's power line carrier products that are used for dimming in tunnels. Power line carrier has been around for a while, and it has recently had major technical improvements that allow it to be used as a method of being able to control fixtures over a very long distance. We have a product line that's based on the power line carrier standard, which is an international standards organization uh, protocol that can travel 3,000 feet inside a tunnel and deliver dimming and switching control signals. The power line carrier system allows you to send commands down through your power conductors to fixtures that can be 3,000 feet away from the controller. You can provide switching signals and dimming signals to the LED drivers, as well as get feedback on a number of different measurements that are taken at that particular fixture. The way that the system works is, as the light level increases, the analog sensor detects that change in light it goes through all of the equipment, the controller, the power line carrier server, gets on to the, the, the power, and then communicates to the receivers, and ultimately turns the um, fixtures on, and in this case, sends them to a particular dimming level. And then uh, they have all different intensities of output, and that can be set in the controller itself. And as I remove the light, now we're falling below the set points that would turn the lights on, and now the fixtures will be turning off. So the power line carrier has a benefit of being able to use those existing conductors and being able to send information out and get information back from the devices. The information collected from the smart servers then can be viewed on a web page that's generated by a web server built into the device. This is an overview screen that shows four smart servers. Each smart server has the capability of being able to control 250 fixtures. You also have the ability to see the overview of the, um, the tunnel and uh, where, for example, each smart server starts and ends the zone of control, as well as some overview status that's available uh, from the smart server. Each server can actually manage 250 fixtures, and you get some overview information from each server about what zone in the tunnel it, it is responsible for, uh, and then what the overall status is of that particular server. We'll take a look at more detailed information by clicking on this server, and be able to take a look at individual fixtures within this zone of the tunnel. Here, every fixture has its own icon, and by clicking on a fixture, we're holding the information about that device from the smart server, and there's a table of information then that, that gets displayed from that particular device. So, here we're taking a look at the wattage. Even though the device is off, it still consumes power at 1.3 watts. Then there's the total energy used, as well as the run time, how long has the device been on since it last was turned off, as well as the supply voltage and supply current, the number of times that the fixture has been turned on or off, and then the feedback, which is the information from the, uh, the receiving device that says, what am I told to do? For, uh, what was my dimming level that I'm supposed to be at? In this case, it's 0%. Then, over on the next column, we've got the receiver timeouts. This is telling what's the quality of communication. If there's a lot of receiver timeouts, there may be a wiring or another kind of problem. Then power factor, power factor increases as the light level increases. The temperature, if you've got a temperature problem, you'll be able to see that here. And then the drive current and drive voltage 
for the LED fixtures. Each of the measurements that are retrieved by the uh, smart server then can have an alarm associated with it. There are alarms for low power and high power, as well as low voltage and high voltage. Then uh, you've got relay failed. If you told the device to turn on and it didn't, then that's considered to be a failure. Uh, then there is cycling. Uh, this is the number of cycles that the, uh, the relay has done. Uh, and so you can monitor that. Uh, then there are receiver timeouts, lamp failures, as well as uh, uh, failed starts and communication timeouts, high temperature, low power factor, and then there are several manufacturer specific uh, alarms that can be generated uh, for particular conditions. PLC Transportation's power line carrier offering uh, is a cost effective way of being able to operate and manage a lighting system because we're able to collect many pieces of information about individual fixtures or groups of fixtures you're able to see and identify problems that occur and apply the right resources to be able to manage or fix the problems. For more information about PLC Transportation's power line carrier offering, please go to our website at www.plcmultipoint.com and click on the PLC Transportation link and you'll find there the resources that you'll need to be able to evaluate and identify the components that are required to implement a power line carrier based system.